and welcome back to my crazy ass channel how y'all doing today i hope you're doing absolutely amazing are you wearing something pink today you better be you cannot come on my channel without wearing a single pink thing like hello Today, we're gonna be doing something really fun in The Sims 4. Lately, I've been noticing that the most popular Sims videos all have to do with building. And that's great for people that know how to build and have a brain. But honestly, I'm just lucky if I remember to put on a wig in the morning. So building really isn't for me. I am terrible at it. I've tried so many times and it just doesn't work. I always make a house that looks like a square or a triangle or a piece of fucking shit. Like it just always looks so bad. I'm like, wow great i can't build so i was like hmm what can i do then i was like oh yeah turn everything into a thought joke so i decided to follow the trends of every room slash outfit is a different sims pack and instead we're gonna do every outfit is a different sim mood i'm gonna make a random sim and make all of their outfits accordingly and i'm just so excited for this i cannot wait so give me a thumbs up talk to me in the comment section down below and subscribe if you've not already and let's get started bitch all right here we are in the sims 4 i just went ahead and made this base Sim. she doesn't really have any outfits or anything on she's super pretty naturally i was like damn you're just freaking gorgeous the first outfit is gonna be my favorite mood can you guys guess do i even have to fucking say it the first mood slash outfit is going to be flirty if you watch my sim let's plays you know my sims are always fucking and they're always pregnant and they're always going crazy so we're gonna make a flirty outfit today i think this hair will actually work really good because it's like half up out of her face so she can get um <laughs> a lot of work done and she doesn't have to put her hair up later and let me just give her a whole dick appointment look i think that's what i'm gonna go for mm, i think those lashes are a little bit much for a dick appointment like you want to be able to see let's just go for some cute lashes that fits her face oh why do the bottom ones do that that's so weird okay i really like this they are still a little bit on the dramatic side but i really like them and i think that's what we're gonna go with now when you're having a dick appointment you want to look so sexy and all that stuff but you don't want to do like a crazy eye look because of the fact that you know you're gonna be sweating you're gonna be doing all this and bitch if you have a cut crease you're not gonna see that by the time the four plays over <laughs> but i will give her some eyeliner oh that's actually really pretty but i think that's a little much hmm maybe just some eyeliner just like that to cover up the blank space between her eyelids honestly all of her lipstick or lip gloss would be gone afterwards anyways but this is for the before look you know so i want her to have a pretty nude on just something that she feels confident in or actually what about like a glossy red because she's supposed to be like fiery and flirty oh that actually looks really good and let me add this skin overlay that adds a little bit of glow and radiance and beauty to attract everybody in the premises earrings i just want to do something simple just kind of like that because again you don't want anything getting caught in like hair that da, 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 da. she has a bathroom on right now but i definitely want her to have something sexy of course so i think like lingerie something that you walk into in the bedroom or even if you're just by yourself if you're in a flirty mood you want to look sexy too oh my god this dress is so pretty but not for this oh sexy oh my god that's too much this is way too much that is going to get me in trouble with youtube wow okay i'm definitely going with this top because it gives me the whole vibe of like lust and red and all of that sexual energy bitch i think red is just the perfect color for that mood so we're gonna go with that and then pants i don't really know like i'm picturing now kind of like walking the streets at first i wanted to just put her in lingerie but then it's like eh, i don't know like maybe it's going out into the world looking for a dick appointment like maybe not necessarily walking into one yeah i think that'll be better if she's just gonna go out while she's lustful and like flirty and all that stuff and then we'll just see what happens okay do i want to put her in like heels or like boots oh my god these are so cute but they're a little bit overkill oh my god we're not gonna do that okay we're gonna go with these black boots and then i do want to have like tights or something some type of leggings maybe high socks oh i want to do that bitch because you know those are fun to rip open i deleted a lot of my mods trying to fix the lag in my game i will be wiping my mods folder soon so these are the only nails that i have right now unfortunately but they're still pretty cute they're all right i think bitch is ready in this outfit like it's sexy it's cute it's lustful and i freaking love it so this is outfit one flirty all checked out okay what mood do i want to do next what other moves do i like my sims to be in bitch they're never in any other moods actually they're always sad because i always kill sims or make them break up with the people that they're in love with so i'm just gonna give her a sad outfit which i don't exactly know how i'm gonna do that but i think you know when i'm sad 
sad? Okay. I was about to say when I'm sad, I'd like to be in sweatpants. These sweats are super cute, but bitch, her titties are literally hanging out. When I'm sad, do my titties hang out? No, I'm just wearing like baggy ass clothes. I don't have any makeup on. I look a fucking mess. So let me try to look. Okay, do I have any like oversized t-shirts? Oh, this might be good. Oversized, let's make it maybe this like mauve color. And then for the bottoms, I would say like sweatpants that don't match at all or even like the exact same color to the T because you just don't care when you're sad. If I could add some Cheeto stains and cookie dough all over her too, bitch, I would do it. Ugh, should I put her in Maxis match? Because that is just like ultimate sadness. It's like you didn't even try. <laughs> okay, we're going with the Maxis Match sweats. And then how about not even shoes, but let's give her some socks. Oh my God, yes. And now we're gonna take all this makeup off, give her really, really small natural lashes, take the earrings off too. And okay, I don't know if I have like messy hair in my game, but when I'm sad, at least I have my hair in a bun for like three days straight. I don't brush it. I don't do shit with it. Is that normal? I mean, oh, I feel like normal people aren't sad for that long, but oh, this hair is so pretty. Oh my God, it's fucking gorgeous. It's so cute. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to call this like a messy hair, but I feel like it it has a couple like loose strands and stuff so this might work for the look so what i'm gonna do is just give her her eye overlay back maybe add a little bit of a tint to her lips if i have just like a natural one she's still pretty even when i'm trying to make her look sad and just over everything with chap lips this bitch could still steal my man and she's a fucking pixel how unfair is that but like whatever oh i mean she doesn't even look sad though <laughs> Okay, do I have any like under eye bags or something? I think I do somewhere in my game. I got some under eye bags, which just kind of, ooh, are these for gray Sims only? All right. Yeah, I'll go with these. These are supposed to just be dark circles because she's really sad. She's probably been crying a little bit and she's just over it. Oh, why is she still pretty though? Like even in her sad outfit and like the heartbreak, she's still a bad bitch. And I think that's so important to remember because when we're all sad, we feel terrible and we're like, oh my God. I'm so ugly. I'm so this. I'm so that. And then you just keep getting more and more sad and it's this horrible cycle. But I think it's important to remember that even if we are sad, sometimes doing something as small as just taking a shower can make the world of a difference. But I decided to go from the mauve to the blue just to kind of represent sadness a little bit more. And I think I nailed it. I think it's pretty good. Look at the fucking difference. You could also be like me on a weekend versus me on a school day, something like that. <laughs> okay, the next look I wanna do is playful. You know, I consider myself kind of a funny bitch and I <laughs> think I'm gonna put her in one of like the clown outfits. Like what if she got a job at the circus? You know what I mean? Like she's in a playful mood and this is how I feel when I'm playful. I actually have a clown costume in my bedroom. Like I'm not even fucking kidding. <laughs> I think it's so funny, but yeah, bitch, I'm literally a clown. So my bitch is deciding to join the circus. And what about it? She's living her best life rent free in these bitches minds. And this is how I deal with sadness through jokes and all of that shit. So let me put her in some orangey look and we got her some orangey eyeshadow. And now let me do some fun eyeliner. Oh, there we go. All right, Miss Clown. She's still bad as Fuck, even if she's in the circus, like I could see her being pretty popular. Like people would literally be like, this is my 10th ticket of the day. I just came to stare at that ass. <laughs> Do I have a silly hat for you? Like, okay, love, she's literally a dickhead. Like she's literally a dickhead. I don't know what else to tell you. This is cute. Okay, I kind of love it. I'm obsessed literally obsessed with the results. Like a dickhead clown. This is so playful. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. I'll put her. Oh my God, wicked whims. Why would you do that to me? I can see her titties. Okay, I'll put her in an actual playful outfit. For playful for me, I feel like I wanna wear like dresses, something super flowy, a lot of fun prints, or maybe even something like this, like playful as in you wanna go to like a fuck party or something like that. Okay, no, I'm going too crazy. We already did flirty, Carmen, calm down. <laughs> so she doesn't have a body anymore. I don't know what happened. This is kind of cute, but I feel like her vagina would pop out if she sat down and I don't want to be responsible for that. Okay, this is my idea of a playful dress. Like it's very flowy and cutesy and it has a lot of different prints. Uh, how about the lilac color? I never put my Sims in purple and I feel like it would suit her really good. So I'm just gonna go for like a classic look right over here. Like I'm just gonna do some basic heels if I could find some. Yeah, that's perfect. We'll just go like that to remove this. Get rid of the fucking hat, bitch. Like, calm down <laughs> but i think we should do colored hair because when i'm in a playful mood like right now bitch 
Hello? I just grew pink hair out of my scalp. It's really not that hard. Some would call it talent, and I would too. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this. It's like a silvery color, and it sweeps back a little bit. It's super cute. We're also gonna do maybe one of these cool colored eyeshadow looks. There's a purple, yellow, pink. Oh my God. <gasps> Why is that pink cloud one so cute? I wish I could do that on my own eyes. The girls just be this talented in CC making. Bitch, it's so unfair. Why couldn't I be this talented? Okay, and I should probably leave her lips nude, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And then maybe either some blush. Oh, bitch, that was blood, not blush. What about some blush with freckles? Because that screams playful to me. The makeup's super colorful and cute and happy, and I'm just in love. This whole outfit's a vibe, but I feel like I really need to accessorize it to give it its full playful potential. So maybe I'll give her this bracelet along with, um, I think I have some purses and stuff. Yeah, I'll give her a little purse to hold on to, keep her tampons in and some condoms. And there we go. That's perfect. I'm so stupid though. I just realized I didn't have a skin overlay on her the whole time. I'm gonna throw this one on and call it a night. Oh my God. Now her titties are massive. Damn. Hello. Okay. And the last emotion that I'm going to do is anger so i'm gonna make another outfit and this one is just gonna be full angry ass bitch like you went on a first date with her and then you never fucking called her back what is your problem i feel like it needs to be a sexy dress like it just has to be we'll go with black and then maybe black hair too like what about super long black hair oh my god this hair could literally be a knife or we could go with this curly hair. It's pretty. We'll go with that. Okay, so let's do something dramatic. Let's go for a black cut crease. Really strong black eyeliner. And now this time, bitch, we are gonna go with the blood because she murdered someone. She literally fucking killed someone. You know, she couldn't control herself and neither could extreme violence. It was right there and the temptation was too fucking strong. Along with some flippers. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Let's use those boots that I didn't want to use before. Let me see. Yeah, we'll just go with these. Blood everywhere. This bitch does not want to take a shower and wash it off. She's like, mm, go check me, boo. He's already dead. We'll give her the knife as well, just to show how she did it. He had it coming. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. I wonder how she killed whoever the fuck she killed. If you have an idea, let me know down below. Unfortunately, you can't even see her cut crease, but these are all of the moods. I'm really happy with them. So again, we have flirty, sad. She's going through it. Playful. This one's my favorite. Like seriously, I love playful the most. And then angry. So pissed. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Talk to me in the comment section down below and subscribe if you've not already. And let me know if I should make part two using the remaining moves that I didn't touch. If you do this challenge yourself, please tweet it to me and show me the results that you got because I think it'd be so, so, so cute. And you can do whatever emotion too. There's lots of emotions in The Sims 4 and it's pretty fun to capture all of them. I also might make a video trying to build a house because I feel like that would just be fucking funny as hell and you guys can make fun of me. So might do that. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it appreciate it if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up talk to in the comment section down below and subscribe if you've not already but i'll talk to you guys tomorrow and goodbye buddy